All right, this is the Algebra 2 Practice EOC question 22, and it says the figure below represents a tower with a height of 100 feet. So obviously height probably means up and down, so that's kind of why this side here has 100 feet labeled underneath it, okay? It is secured to the ground, D feet. Again, we don't know how much D is. That's our unknown there, D feet, from the base of the tower by a wire that makes angle alpha with the ground. That's what this funky little symbol here is, alpha, okay? Which function can be used to find the distance? We want to know what the distance is between the base of the tower and the point at which the wire is attached to the ground. Okay. Before we even kind of deal with this drawing here, or this diagram, we should probably remember some of our trig functions. Okay. And kind of the way I teach it, most people think, oh yeah, Sakatoa. That kind of helps people a whole lot. What I tell my kids is that sine means oh heck. cosine another hour and then the TOA of algebra. Oh heck another hour of algebra. Okay and again you have O which means opposite so you're looking for the side opposite the angle. The A means adjacent. Adjacent is just a really big funky fancy word for side by side or touching and then you have H which means your hypotenuse which is always your longest side okay so we need to try to set up a trig function using oh heck another hour of algebra to kind of figure out what our D is going to be or what our distance is going to be okay so if we're looking at angle alpha we have angle alpha okay should equal well we look at what's right across from angle alpha opposite this is going to be 100 over, it looks like we have something that's across from this right angle here. Well, the thing that's always our biggest side is across from the right angle, so that's our hypotenuse. We don't even need to know that. That's completely irrelevant for this problem, okay? So this other side has to be what our adjacent is. So D equals the adjacent, okay? Again, going back to our trig, oh heck, another hour of algebra, we have opposite of algebra adjacent of algebra means tangent so that means that tangent of alpha equals a hundred divided by D okay well now you just have to solve this equation to get D to be on one side by itself so first you have to multiply both sides by D which you do to one side of your equation you of course do to the other so your D's cancel out on the right and you now have D times tangent of alpha equals 100. Okay, well now we need to get rid of this tangent because again we're getting the D by itself so we divide both sides by tangent of alpha and when we divide both sides by tangent of alpha we have D equals 100 divided by tangent. Okay, well, of course, we don't see that answer here at all anywhere. Okay, so one thing that we could also use to kind of help us remember is what our other trig functions are. Okay, these three sine, cosine, and tangent are our basic trig functions that we remember. We have to know or remember that the opposite or kind of something that's similar to sine is going to be cosecant, which is the same thing as just one over sine. You have cosine and the opposite of cosine is secant which is pretty much the same thing as 1 over cosine and then you have tangent which is pretty much the same thing as cotangent that kind of makes sense cotangent they go together cotangent is just 1 over tangent okay well going back to our answer we end up with D equals 100 over tangent so tangents on the bottom so the kind of opposite of tangent being on the bottom is putting it on the top and making it cotangent so D would equal cotangent of 100 or D equals 100 times cotangent of alpha, which is going to give us answer choice H. Good luck. I hope this helps you.